Okay, so I want to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. So I'm curious, how many people watching this video right now remember Carrie Prejean? Anything? Name ring a bell? So I didn't remember this name as well until I saw this clip. I think this is going to help jog your memory. Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think every state should follow suit? Why or why not? A marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised, and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you remember now, right? So after she gave that answer, it went viral. Uh, she kind of had her 15 minutes of fame. She went on CNN. She was interviewed by Fox News. She appeared on Larry King Live. So I'm talking about her now in 2021 because I want to give you an update as to where she's at right now and what she's doing. Well, to no one's surprise, she morphed into a Karen. What kind of a Karen, you might be wondering? Well, she is now an anti-mask Karen who showed up to her children's school to threaten them for imposing mask mandates ahead of the new school year. Take a look. My name is Carrie Bowler. You see my shirt, it says mama, and I'm a mama bear. And I know there's a lot of mama bears here tonight, and no one's gonna mess with our cubs. That's right. Just so you know. Um, I'm a resident of Encinitas, born and raised San Diegan, and tonight I'm simply here to tell you to unmask our children. We're done begging. In fact, we're done asking for permission. That's right. We are gonna be unmasking our children today. That's right. The pandemic is over. The parents are done. We're done asking you, public servants, for permission. We are done. You can all wear your masks. In fact, you can wear two masks and three masks. You can wear gloves. You can have plexiglass. You can do whatever you need to do to keep you safe. But we, the parents, believe we have a choice for our children. And I don't know who you think you are, that you think that you have more of a say than us, the parents, mm -hmm. and our doctors. Mm -hmm. I don't know who any of you think you are. I really don't. That's right. It ends today. That's right. We are declaring our freedom tonight. We do not consent to the lies, fear-mongering, and abuse. You all know it's abuse. This is tyrannical leadership, mm. poor leadership. Mm. None of you are willing to stand up for our children. This is why we are all here tonight, because we're fed up. We're done asking permission. We're done playing games. The pandemic is over. We are done, Andre. We're done. That's right. See the chairs that you're sitting in? We own those chairs. Mm -hmm. See these lights? We pay for the lights, mm -hmm. not you. And I want to let you know, Emily, you're up in 2022, Greg, you're up in 2022, Marla, you're up in 2022, and Jody, you're up in 2024. I know that myself, I would love to run for school board. And Woo! I know many, many mothers who are coming and replace all of you. So I'm going to promise you tonight that I will campaign against you, I will, I will fundraise against you, and I will make sure that none of you ever serve in a public space ever again. That's right. The time is... Yep. Quote, the pandemic is over. Is that how it works? Okay, l let me try it. I'm rich. Don't see money falling from the sky. That's not the way that things work. Facts don't care about your feelings. The pandemic in many regions of the country is worse than it's ever been. You don't get to just say it's over and then make that be fact. The pandemic is going on. And the reason why school boards are mandating masks is to protect your children. But you're too stupid to realize that. I see that nothing has changed, Gary. She also claims uh, that mask mandates are tyrannical, and she claims that they're abuse. So if you Make children wear masks, that's a form of child abuse. Okay, we'll wait until she finds out about something that's incredibly scandalous. Halloween. I'm sure that she definitely doesn't celebrate Halloween or let her kids wear masks because, according to her, masks are child abuse. Are your kids that stupid, Carrie, to where if you make them put on a mask during a global pandemic, they would be so confused? Like, would their little heads explode? I, I, don't, I don't see the problem here. Do you want other kids to expose your children to germs. I just, I, I don't understand why you're being so petulant here. It's a fucking pandemic that is not over and putting on masks is good for your children. They are not abuse. If you talk to your children, I'm sure that they'd understand and you don't have to make it this dreadful thing, make it fun. Like if I were a kid going to school 
and I could wear a Ninja Turtles mask or a Power Rangers mask or a Pokemon mask, I would love that. It doesn't have to be this negative thing. It's only negative because of you, because you're petulant, because you're a conservative and you're an airhead. But I don't want to single out Carrie too much because she's not alone. Parents across the country have been showing up to school board meetings and they have been ripping them because of these mask mandates. In fact, in one county, a fight actually broke out over mask mandates and this local news reporting on it was just it, it just pay attention to the reporter's face like the look on his face you you can tell how shocked he is at what he saw unfolding before his very eyes county students must wear a face mask to school that's the brand new order being issued by the superintendent it comes just before a meeting was supposed to allow parents to have their say but as nbc 2s dave elias joins us live and he reveals dave that decision has already been made it has already been made, and let me tell you, what I'm seeing here is just unbelievable. Both sides are arguing over a decision that was just made by the superintendent to invoke a mandatory mask policy for 30 days. I'm told that it does take effect on September 1st. Now, you have both sides here. Uh, arguing over whether or not a mask should be worn in the schools. I can tell you that I just saw two doctors try to walk into this building and they were shoved off of the sidewalk back into the street here. So that's out of control. That's how out of control things are getting. And just looking around, we've got some sheriff's deputies here, but right now I see no authorities here. We're told that all of them are inside as tempers erupt here outside of the Lee County School District headquarters. And again, all of this may be for naught as the superintendent already made the decision to impose that mask mandate. Date. We, of course, will continue following all of these latest developments, and we, of course, will keep you posted. We're live in Lee County, Dave Elias, NBC2. When you walked in, I saw you get shoved, both of you. Can you confirm that happened in your reaction? So, actually, Dr. Wallace got shoved. Um, she was actually... I was just trying to make my way to the door so I could come in and fill a comment card and a woman stood in front of me and bumped me out of the way. I was trying to get Cindy Banier's attention and tell her hello and thank you for coming and a woman pushed her body into me. So, Are you shocked at what this has become? Not at all. Been watching it on social media for weeks and months and months. I'm not at all. Okay, right, right here. Look, right here. So as you can see, fists are now flying. All of this on live television. Fists are flying. Unbelievable what we are seeing here today unfold live. Now we can see the sheriff's deputies are coming out here to get between the two groups. A lot of confusion, a lot of anger, as a lot of deputies now are finally pouring in to see exactly what happened. And again, I was live and I saw somebody push one of the people that was that was uh, supporting the mask mandate. And again, now we have deputies here trying to get this under control. So, Nate, to answer your question, yes, tempers are flying here today. And again, the only word I can use to describe this in my 32 years of broadcast covering is I am shocked at what is taking place here. I love how all throughout the report, the lady in the Jesus shirt was like seen fighting and assaulting everyone. <laughs> like, it's too perfect. And what really was just like, what speaks to the sadness of the state of affairs is he asked the doctor who was assaulted by these anti-mask parents, uh, are you shocked at what this has become? Her answer, not at all. She's not shocked. Doctors aren't shocked. Nurses aren't shocked. To see the meltdown by adults, to see these temper tantrums, this is just to be expected in the United States of America. Uh, but there's another county that I, I want to show you where uh, this man showed up to a meeting and he decided to epically own the school board by calling their masks face diapers. And he also threatened uh, implicitly to do violence. That's my father-in-law right there speaking on behalf of my his grandkids. <coughs> you with that diaper on your face, if he farted right now, could you smell it? That's how stupid this is. We're all playing games here with people's lives, and I'm sick of it. I re represent all these hardworking guys that couldn't be here today, 
to take off work to put up with this BS that you guys are putting down. And there's hell coming. There's hell coming, and I'm not doing it to threaten anybody. But there's a lot of good guys out there ready to do bad things soon. Watch what's coming. These, these mandates are against the Nuremberg Codes. The first one states voluntary informed consent. Are you a Nazi? What is it? You're gonna send, they send my dad off to Vietnam and, and fight for the country, but you're going to tell him to wear a mask? Sir, um... I appreciate the fact that I can't control myself. There's a lot of other guys that control myself, that can't control themselves. Talk to me. That's Talk why they're me. not here right now. Somebody. I have nothing else to say. Do what's right. There's a lot of bad things coming. I mean, this is the stupidity that we are seeing again and again and again. And by the time this video is uploaded to YouTube, there'll be five more videos of anti-mask parents showing up to school board meetings and screaming at people. This is the America that we live in now. The dumbest timeline imaginable. And he says, these mandates are against the Nuremberg Codes. No, mask mandates and vaccine mandates are not against the Nuremberg Codes. This is like a new thing that they're all saying. Like, remember at first, a couple of months ago, they were saying, you can't actually ask for my, vi my vaccination status because that violates my HIPAA rights. So they find these buzzwords that they don't understand and then they cite it as like a get out of jail free card. No, mask, uh, mask mandates and vaccine mandates, they do not violate the Nuremberg Codes. The Nuremberg Codes refer to experimental medicine requiring consent from people. You can't conduct medical experiments on people unless they consent. The vaccines are not experimental. When they were in their clinical trial phase, all of the participants gave their consent to be participants. They're no longer experimental. Masks are not experimental at all. They have been proven to be effective. So what you're saying is dog shit. You're trying to find some way to reason against these mask mandates, but you're just unreasonable. But he's not the only individual to threaten violence because another person who's actually running for public office in the state of Pennsylvania, as a Republican, of course, claimed that, you know, all we have to do is forcibly remove these school board members. Just do violence. Just remove them. And then that's how we get rid of the mask mandates. Take a look. We got parents looking at the bylaws. I plan on going in these school boards. Ian and other strong men. Men, where are you? Men, wake up, smell the coffee. Let's go. Make men great again, right? Make men men again. Let's go. Men, I need you. I need you in the coming weeks because when we walk into those school boards, we're going to have everything we need to do to go in there with those 9 -0 school boards that voted to put these masks back on the children with no scientific. It's done giving them the research and the data. Do you understand that? Forget going into these the school boards and bringing data. You go into school boards to remove them. That's what you do. Forget. They don't follow the law. They don't follow the law. You go in and you remove them. I'm going in with 20 strong men. I'm going to speak in front of the school board and I'm going to give them an option. They can leave or they can be removed. And then after that, we're going to replace them with nine, nine parents and we're going to vote down the, the mask mandates that evening. That evening, this is how you get stuff done. Forget writing your legislators. Forget it. They're not listening. You got to do something. It's us. It's we the people. When I see criminals trying to take my rights and my beautiful children and everything that they're going to do, you're going to have to take my life. There's no way. I'll die on this hill. There's no way. No way. He seems like a very reasonable, well-adjusted, responsible adult. I just, these people are um, making me lose whatever hope I had left in humanity. It's that easy. You just um, institute democracy by forcibly removing those people violently and imposing your will on everyone else by having people who agree with you vote after you forcibly removed the other people. I mean, it's just... It's ridiculous. And and he claims, ironically so, that, uh, you know, he's done giving them research and the data because they're just not listening to reason. Except you're the one not listening to reason. The research and the data is on our side. It's on the side of the people who support mask mandates, not on your side.
What do you have? Some InfoWars article? Some Facebook meme? You have nothing. And that's why you're getting frustrated because you have no fucking argument. You're growing more petulant and parents like you are having to resort to temper tantrums because you know this is about feelings. It's not about facts. It's about you wanting to pretend as if the pandemic is over when it's not, when these mask mandates are literally instituted to protect your children and protect you. Stop them from bringing home a virus from one of their friends and spreading it to you and your parents so they you know don't infect their grandparents but they don't care and like the videos that i've shown you i just want to stress that this is just a small fraction of what's been happening because across the country this has been a non-stop phenomenon how prevalent these incidents are cannot be overstated as Tess Owens of Vice News reports, from coast to coast, grown American adults have been exhibiting bizarre behavior at school board meetings, including throwing full-blown tantrums, threatening violence, and even getting arrested. These often absurd displays are coupled with the unrelenting tragedy of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is running rampant in states with low vaccination rates, posing a grave threat to the country's ability to get the virus under control before even deadlier variants show up. Earlier this week, a dad walked his 10th grade daughter Daughter to Fort Lauderdale High School, where she was turned away four consecutive days for failing to comply with the mask policy. As he was filming the interaction on his phone, a masked high schooler said, I've had enough for four days, according to NBC, and tried to grab his phone. He then grabbed the girl's arm, twisted it behind her back, and pushed her against a gate. School resource officers and a security guard pulled him off her. He's since been charged with child abuse. Broward County was also the site of a chaotic and unruly school board meeting this week as the polarizing issue of mask mandates has transformed the usually dull setting of school board meetings into a magnet for conspiracy theorists and culture warriors. Parents flocked to the meeting to protest the school district's proposed COVID-19 testing protocols. There, they spouted disinformation about a chemical used to sterilize most medical devices, including nasal swabs. At a school board meeting in Palm Beach, Florida, this week, a man repeatedly refused to sit down in a special room reserved for unmasked individuals and was ultimately arrested. At a school board meeting in San Antonio, where local officials have also adopted a mask mandate in defiance of state law, two police officers had to physically carry an unmasked woman out of the room while she was still seated. A school board meeting in Douglas County, Colorado, also went completely off the rails amid debate over their recent adoption of a mask mandate for school kids. Parents accused the board members of being the mask Gestapo, reported Denver's KUSA Kyle Clark. Other parents said they moved to Douglas County specifically to escape the mask policy in Denver. Another speaker who previously ran for school board claimed there was a sniper on the roof because the board members feared the parent voice. And late last week, Louisiana State School Board meeting in Baton Rouge descended into chaos when it was hijacked by a rabble of nearly 200 angry parents plus a conservative evangelical preacher who were there to protest the statewide mask mandates for schools. This is happening everywhere, all across the country. And if you want to see the insanity firsthand, all you have to do is show up to one of these school board meetings. What are we doing? You have parents blasting school board members for doing something that protects their children. But what are they doing in return? They claim that they're harming children. No, contrary to your deluded beliefs, they're doing this to protect your children. And to protect other children but yet you view this as tyranny and an abuse of freedom because you're stupid and you're a petulant child so these tantrums are probably going to die down as school gets back in session but you know this behavior from parents has led to many school board board members across the country resigning because they can't take it i mean could you put up with this level of abuse like you do something that's logical to protect children and then this is the response you have parents showing up to these meetings, yelling at you, screaming at you, antagonizing you, threatening violence against you. I mean, if I were in the position of any of these school board members, I would tell them to uh, get fucked and walk off. Because, uh, and I'd be, I'd be telling the parents that, to be clear, because this is this is just abusive it's disgusting like what they're doing they believe that they're defending freedom but in actuality they're the ones who are being tyrannical they're the ones who are advocating for the spread 
of a virus during a pandemic, they're the bad guys, but they think they're the good guys. It's just truly morally reprehensible, but totally predictable in 2021 America, where so many people have been deluded by conspiracy theories to the point where they don't even exist in reality anymore. They're living in their own fucking worlds, and I'm sick of it. They can try to pretend as if the pandemic is over. They can try to, you know, fight these mask mandates. But if you want to live in civilized society, we don't have to buy into your delusions. Masks work. Masks are effective. And we're doing it to protect all the other children, not just your kid. So shut the fuck up. Stop throwing a tantrum and maybe set a good example for your child.